yeah so that's about india if you live in us i know you guys can go to walmart staples staples would be better recommendation walmart and dollar store and stuff so don't worry these kind of things are easily available if you don't find these glitter pens also work but glitter pens are so glittery that they don't make good notes i felt so this is the only time when i found these things that's the only time i started that's the only time i started making notes like this so this was the second learning tool then comes some testing tools yeah testing is equally important as learning the information the studying is made up of two important parts one is learning which we can do by using flash cards or making them making them if you're kind of if you're a person who learns best when you write stuff you can use that as a story tool if you have if you guys have a whiteboard at home you can use that and make a study tool if you don't have a whiteboard take a blank sheet of paper and after you leave the one page of information just go on writing it on that sheet of paper as if you were explaining to a little child so we were talking about testing tools right now so our topic shifted you can use your textbook or reference book questions which are takes of questions would be generally after each topic or a big exercise after each chapter so if you are studying maths i guess you will have questions after each topic or a big exercise after each chapter so for all the subjects you can use reference book which have only questions or books which have concise theory material and the way that you can understand best as well as questions after each chapter depending on the test if you are writing an mcq test buy such books if you are writing a theory based test buy such books so that was about one testing tool the other testing tool is making quiz cards like this so what you can do is use this kind of big paper fold it into half and then do the way i'm telling you so put some questions here for example how to make a quiz tool then here you'll find the answer okay so here you'll be finding the answer like this uh, question number two how to be good be just yourself or this is not a good example so i thought even i'll make the other one which has question 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 answer 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 so make it in a big sheet of paper like this so that you will really like it so in one sheet of paper fold it into half you make two quizable tools so i guess if you make of even minute questions in such big paper like this then you can complete even a single chapter in one sheet of paper instead of wasting a lot of paper as you do in flashcards but you guys remember one thing flashcards is very good for you learning information which have to be by heart like your definitions examples and what book a person wrote or what are the important parts of a system and stuff like that so something you really need to know and cannot understand are the ones which you put in flashcard and you could do repeatedly reviewing them so one thing that struck me was where to store these flashcards so you can bundle them up put a um, rubber band around them and do something or else put a strapper around them in the side all of them touching together or make a hole and do how the ready-made flashcards look like so main flashcards can also be considered as your testing tool so more important tip watch YouTube videos only for part you don't understand and visualize okay sometimes you require coaching because your textbook material you really know it that this is not the thing that's going to be appearing for my entrance examination so definitely go and watch it such videos if you don't have stuff like that and you know things will come definitely 100 percent from the textbook like your 10th or 11th or 12th class exam or school examinations then just read the textbook and go through youtube videos only for the parts you don't understand because some things really need to see in order to get it and understand it or you sometimes you find it too hard to visualize so i'm giving you here a bonus tip what study tip videos are due to what study tip videos are due to but don't find them 
on the other tool for procrastination to start doing stuff so i'll be giving you recommendation of some uh, youtubers and people who are really great in the field of education so one such example is gretchen wagner who has a youtube channel as well as a website of her, her own so you can look on that in the comment section she's an academic coach so if you have problem really hard studying and you're really okay with spending some money to a coach who'll teach you how to study then she is a good option watch her youtube videos some are concise and she even has some webinar videos which you can really watch if you're a math or science something person then tom miller's video wtfprofessor.com helps you out a lot so that person is generally for engineering courses and stuff but if you have math or science of higher level like 10th class 11th grade or 12th grade then you can really go to i said he has five day email offering to you which will really make you starting a better experience he has a few video in his youtube channel but they are super good and super efficient uh, one more thing i like to add is about a source called Khan Academy I thought even all of you might know about it but if you don't really check it out because Khan Academy uh, you don't really need to go to their YouTube account if you go to their website you even have questions that you can solve especially for math uh, and I saw I seen some question in chem as well where you can do the testing if you're preparing for iitje then you can even go to their website khan academy i don't know for medical they have like mcat which is a u.s based exam but not for indians like aipmt and stuff the other one i like to recommend to you a lot is crash course really crash course is based on your class 11th and 12th syllabus and even a lower grade they have all kinds of videos ranging from science and science also pcb pcb i don't know what math i didn't check them out so i don't i can't tell you about math but they definitely have videos of physics chemistry and biology as well as they also have videos on history and so on so on so on so on ranging till philosophy so they are really good source and each uh, chapter like according to go by your board syllabus or something they have big big chunks of chapter concised into a small video so if you have no time reviewing what you have learned just watch their videos that will even help you well visualize the parts really efficiently well if you are class 11 and 12 students studying for any kind of an entrance exam let it be in NJRUS definitely i like you to check them out crash course really nice really awesome uh, coming to the part when I came to know these people, it's a like crash course. I I stumbled upon them in, on YouTube when I wanted to know about Egyptian society. That's when I stumbled upon crash course where uh, one person was talking about Greek philosophy and things about Greek. And I was not interested in that because I was to do an Egyptian project. So I went to the Egyptian part of the videos they had. And that was really nice and I could understand. And I had to make a project for social science exhibition. Now coming to Khan Academy, I've seen many people recommending it. So I came across them like that. Gretchen Wagner, when I was going through YouTube, I stumbled upon her on study tips when I was this one during my research i stumbled upon them and tom Miller also i stumbled upon them because of some person or the other there are so many people out there who will really help you out tom, uh, what's a, you can even check out some of the people in the description box one of them is thomas and uh, many people out there whose video i really found it interesting but I found that these people are the epic ones who just don't offer you study tips but offer you even guidance regarding study. I recommended Gretchen Wagner because she was an academic coach. Tom Miller because he owned a website and had a very amazing, yes, he had a very amazing web series. So that's all for this video. Thanks. And really remember, you have if you like the video please do subscribe and put the push the like button and remember truly yours is all about you 
So if you have any comments, any queries, put them in the comment section below. And have any recommendation of future videos, please do that. Till then, stay tuned and be truly yours yourself.